smooth and easy to tell. Deep, coarse, throaty, slow, like an old gobbler in the fall, like right now. Uh, did real slow, only stopped yelping sometimes. High pitch, fast, young hen. Her voice even breaks on her sometimes. She goes. Then what I call my favorite tone. winner and uh, first place winner of the amateur he just took it all this year we're gonna have Billy McCoy there you go I'd like to thank you for letting me be a part of this contest and didn't mind driving all night to get here <laughs> this is Billy McCoy of Lineville Alabama right is that right and uh, the 1980 national turkey calling champion right and amateur and amateur, that's right. You cleaned up both classes tonight. That's right. So how did it feel out there? Oh, it felt great. Great. You had a lot of good trip. competition? Yes, I, I, didn't, I didn't think I would come in like I did in the Nationals. I was hoping to do well in amateur. You did real well tonight. Seems like you had the crowd behind you. Well, I kind of got over my nervousness in the first one, and so I did a little better in the second one. Uh, Billy, what's your, what's your favorite call, anyway? My favorite hunting call would be the cackle in the springtime. That's pretty good. <laughs> We're talking with Bob Moore, the president of the Chamber of Commerce and the publisher of the Mountain Echo. Bob, uh, you got a pretty good event here this year. We sure do, Bob. We've got probably 5,000 people here on the square today, and we're just really thrilled that we've come through with a, such a nice festival this year. When did, when did this all start? Well, the Turkey Trot Festival officially started 35 years ago. This is our 35th annual edi uh, edition of the Turkey Trot Festival. Uh, the turkey drops themselves have been going on for about 10 years. Well, there's been a lot of publicity, I guess, stirred up because of this turkey drop. Uh, what, what, uh, what are your feelings on the matter? Well, you're right, Bob. It seems to have become quite a controversial issue. My personal feelings, I think it's great, and that seems to be the opinion of most of the local people around here. Well, uh, anything else you'd like to say in addition to what we've talked about, about the Turkey Trot Festival here? Well, we've had really a great response this year. We had probably the largest number of girls participate in our beauty contest that they've ever had in the past. We had over 30 men last night in our national turkey calling contest, and tonight we're hoping to have the biggest crowd ever for a turkey trot concert. We're going to have Vern Gosden, Tommy Overstreet, and Kenny Husky, all from Nashville, Tennessee, will be here, along with Johnny Patton, who is now in Nashville, but he's from Payette, Arkansas. He's a local boy who's done quite well for himself. Well, um, let's uh, maybe we ought to give the plug to the organizers of the event. Uh, who is responsible for the Turkey Trot Festival? Well, no one person can take credit for all this. I'm afraid it's uh, an activity that was originally started by our veterans of foreign wars. They picked it up uh, and brought it back after World War II. It was something that originated that they had seen while they were on tours of duty in Europe. All right, well, good luck. I'll let you go back to enjoy the festival, and thank you very much. Thank you, Bob.